Okay, if you're like most WWE Network subscribers, you might have watched Talking Smack, which is probably one of their best under half an hour shows you can watch. Well, it's been canceled as a weekly show. It was great before 205 Live took its primary spot. Now it's going after 205 Live. I actually watch it on Wednesday mornings because it's hard to watch a show at like, you know, 10 o'clock after you finish watching several hours of wrestling. So that portion is, you know, not great because it actually it gave so much great character development and it put certain things that happened into really great perspective. Yeah, it was when The Miz really laid into Daniel Bryan. It was had these really great moments to it. You know, I didn't care for the rap battle with Wale or Whale, however you pronounce his name. But they made it much more impressive when they talk about Talking Smack. It also made people like Baron Corbin and uh, American Alpha. If you weren't showcased on the show, you got to use that as a platform. It also works for getting other characters something to do. You know, Baron Corbin actually attacked Sami Zayn, which they have been having a few. You know, it was a good way to, to keep storyline continuity. Instead of being like, oh, if this happened, check you know the Fallout show on the YouTube channel. But a lot of people watched it, so it got cut. Which, you know, I enjoyed watching it. I thought it added a nice, a nice amount of, it was a nice additional piece to SmackDown. SmackDown only being two hours live, Raw being three hours. But SmackDown, when you use Talking Smack, is a way to further some storylines, keep some things going. And if you had a character, you're like, I don't quite get what it is that they're doing. Put on Talking Smack, give them a few minutes, and allow them to take, remove those rough edges off characters. So it's, it's been canceled and they'll be after pay-per-views, which, eh, not as much a fan of a pay-per-view, because you've already watched, you know, almost three hours of wrestling. For me, it made more sense as a, con as a for a continuity standpoint, after SmackDown, than it would after a, an actual pay-per-view event, or massive network special. So, I'm gonna miss it. When it was Renee and JBL, it was good. When it was Renee and Shane, it was still decent. But Renee and Daniel were just fantastic. Lots of little bits and pieces here and there that they could have transitioned it from there onto the main show, and it would have been fantastic.